Hey everyone, Lachlan here, the Exorum, back with another Minecraft episode. And today, we've actually just updated to the 1.11 update. So, we could be doing some cool stuff with that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But I think the plan for today is to just sort of do some extra decorating that's maybe a little bit functional. So what I'm thinking is maybe creating some sort of sugarcane farm that looks nice, but also gets us some sugarcane. So that's the general idea. I'm not entirely certain where we're going to put it. But I'm thinking we might need the observer box, which means we're also going to need to go to the nether. So I'm going to grab all of the stuff we need for that. And then I'm thinking we'll put in a nether portal around here somewhere. So I'll be right back with you with the resources. I'll see you in a second. Righto, so I've got some obsidian now, and I'm thinking what we're going to do here is make just a little sort of cave in the wall here. Uh, it's not going to be anything too fancy right now, but hopefully once we've got some more resources and stuff, we'll be able to make it look a little bit better. Um, I have some very sort of cool things in mind, but unfortunately I don't really have any vines or anything yet, which is the sort of blocks or the sort of thing that I'd like to use to decorate it. So, for now, I'm just going to sort of dig out a little cave area. I'm going to just put the portal in there, because quite often you will just sort of like, you know, grab your obsidian and then put your portal wherever and yeah, then you have to figure out how to make it look good later. Uh, but I don't really want to do that this time around. I'm going to try to make a little area for it before I place it. And that way it should look at least okay. And worst case scenario, it's in a cave. We can just cover it up, right? So I'm going to finish off the digging here and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Right, so I've got the resource, or oh, dug out the little cave here. So I'm just going to put a little portal, kind of big portal, I guess, in the back here. Thing is, we can always dig this out a bit more if we want to later. So, might as well just put the portal in. Then we can decide. I think we are definitely going to need it to be a bit bigger. That's okay, we can figure that out later and make this look a bit better. But for now, we've got ourselves a portal. So, got a little bit of food. Sure, let's go check out the nether. Hopefully. So, I'm hoping to just get a little bit of nether quartz and stuff in here. Nothing too fancy or anything like that. Here we go. Let's see if this all loads in. Uh, because I just want to be able to make a few of the observer blocks. Goodness, we've got a little fire here. Oops. Oh, and a ghast. Just like get a nice little bit of lag there. Very good. Oh dear. Okay. We're going to leave that ghast alone for now, because I'm getting some crazy lag for some reason. So I'm just going to ignore that for now. Uh, but it looks like we have some quartz over here. So uh, aside from all the fire, which is to kind of be expected in the nether, this looks like a pretty nice sort of um, stunning location for the nether. I'm not about to fall into lava or anything like that, so I can't complain too much. 
Okay, can we see any fortresses or anything like that? No, it doesn't look like it. Just a lot of ghasts. Well, we've got a bit of quartz now. So, I'm happy enough with that. That should be more than enough for what I need. I may hang out here for a bit longer, grab some more quartz, and have a little bit of an explore. But I'll be right back with you guys in a second, getting ready to build a little bit of decoration around our town. So, from our little nether trip, we managed to get uh, quite a bit of nether quartz here. We also got a bit of glowstone here, which is pretty good. We can make some um, glowstone lamps or something out of that, which I think will look quite nice in the town. We've also managed to get 33 levels, which means we can enchant a couple of things properly now, rather than just doing the dodgy sort of enchantments and hoping for the best. So, uh, we need some maps as well, don't we? So, I'm going to give it a go with a pickaxe first, see what we get, and then we might do another pickaxe, or we might do some boots, or a sword, or we'll see. So, I'm breaking three, so that's good. Let's see, hopefully we get something else. Just on breaking three. Well, that's pretty disappointing. So, I think we're going to do another pickaxe here. I'm really hoping to get Fortune. Uh, Silk Touch is nice too, but uh, Fortune, it would be much better for me at this point. So Efficiency 4, that's pretty good. That's going to be a fast pickaxe. So let's see what we get. Just Efficiency 4. Okay, so we've got a bit unlucky with the enchantments there. Uh, maybe we'll be able to enchant some more stuff later. Okay, well... It's a bit disappointing. So, what we're going to be doing now is whoop, fighting a witch, it seems. Oh dear. I'm just going to leave it down there for now. Uh, we're going to be adding in some sort of decoration in this area. So what I'm hoping to do is put in a little sort of sugarcane farm here that uses the observer blocks. Sugarcane farm here, there's these two observer blocks, which will hopefully all harvest and maybe go into a chest in this building here. So hopefully we can, I can make something that looks quite nice in this space, so we get a little bit of, um... A little bit of decoration here, but it's also still going to be quite functional. And hopefully it will have moving bits and stuff, which I think will work quite well into the sort of theme that we're going for here. So... I'm going to gather up all the resources for that, make some observer blocks, and I'll be right back with you building that stuff. Okay, so I've got a bunch of these observer blocks now. Uh, some pistons, I have some sugarcane, some water, all the sort of stuff you need to make a sugarcane farm, right? Uh, so, I don't. Ex I haven't really been keeping up with you know the types of sugarcane farms and whatnot that have been built with the observer blocks, so I'm not sure about what sort of things already are out there. So I'm just sort of going to go with something that I essentially just thought up uh, while I was sort of thinking about what I wanted to do today. So it's pretty basic sort of design. Uh, it uses the Observer blocks obviously, and uses the fact that they sort of update when they um, 
when they change their state, so you can use the observed blocks to take the signals out of the observed blocks, if that makes sense. So what we'll put it maybe a little bit further back, just so we have enough space to dig out all the bits that we want to. Here we go. So if we put this one here, so we use this observed block here, put a piston on there, put another observer block underneath down here, and then we put one here, have a piston coming out of that. And so because this observer block here updates this one, we'll um, get a signal and put it out through the piston here. So if I was to just place a little bit of andesite here, yeah, you see that sort of all fires. So that's the basic system, it's pretty simple. I'm going to build a few more of those and hopefully put some sort of collection method down into this house here. So I'm going to show you some sped up footage of that. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so we've finished up this uh, sugarcane farm here. I'll be the first to admit that uh, it's definitely not the most efficient thing in the world, but we have it here mainly just for looks, and it does function a little bit. You can see there's a bit there, uh, and that's probably going to be happening quite often. We'll get little bits and pieces stuck. Uh, but we have nine pieces of sugarcane in here, so obviously it is collecting a little bit at least, and that's all we really need. For the most part, it's just a aesthetics sort of thing to make the village look a little bit more interesting. Uh, so I think we definitely still have some time left in this episode for today, so what I'm thinking is that we'll move on to adding in some lighting around our, uh, well, our building and the little area up here. And the way I'm thinking of doing that is using the daylight sensors and some redstone lamps. So we'll set the daylight sensors, obviously, so they're inverted so that whenever it is dark, the lamps will come on. Uh, so I'm going to grab together the resources that we need for that, and then I'll be right back with you, lighting up the town. Okay, so I've got some redstone lamps here, I've got the daylight sensors, I've also got some repeaters, uh, some redstone dust, and some spruce fences to just do a little bit of decorating. So. The sort of design that I'm thinking about doing is pretty simple. I'm going to put one here and just see how it sort of looks. Might have to fix that up. So I'm planning on having the redstone lamp sort of stick out of the wall like this, and then having the spruce around it like that. Just having it sort of hanging there on the wall like that, supported by the spruce. Then we're going to go in with some redstone dust behind it and hook up a daylight sensor. So, I'm going to go around and put a few of these around the area, and we'll see how that looks. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so we've finished up the lighting here, and it's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, this one over here is pretty temporary. We're going to be sort of doing a bit of terraforming over this side, I think, on this side of the um, our little valley here. Oh, dear. Problem with uh, recording this bit at night, of course, is that all the monsters are out. But I figured it had to be done just to show you guys how this lighting looked. So, it's obviously not perfect, it's not stopping the monsters from spawning everywhere, but we are sort of more going for the look anyway, rather than stopping anything from spawning. So, as you can see, it sort of lights up all along here, and it's looking pretty nice up through here. I'm going to go to sleep now, just to um, get rid of the monsters, and also to show you that all of those lights will turn off during the day. Here we are back during the day, and as you can see, all of the lights have turned off now. Um, I think they still look pretty nice even when they're off, which is good. That's the sort of thing you want. Let's just get rid of these zombies. There we go. So yeah, we've got a nice lit up area um, in the night, or it can, um, you know, turns off during the day, which I quite like. Uh, so, we've finished that up today, we've also done this sugar cane farm here, obviously it's not the most efficient thing in the world, but it seems to be going okay. Got 14 and some raw flesh out of it, oops, so it's definitely doing something, maybe not a lot, but it's definitely working. So, unfortunately though, that's all I have time for today, so, I've been Lachlan. The exhum. I'll see you later.